Hey guys, it's Cthulhu here. So uh, here I am playing Guild Wars 2. Probably not what you're expecting. You were probably hoping for a RuneScape video. Unfortunately not today and perhaps not for the near future. Um, I'll get to that in a second though. Uh, firstly I wanted to talk about myself. So uh, about a year ago, probably, well no it wasn't a year ago. It was just a little bit longer than that. But I said that I was working 40 hours a week. Eating up into my time. Getting a bit annoying unfortunately. Just didn't have enough time to play games and... Uh, and that's still the case, unfortunately, except for one slight amendment, and that is I'm now working 55 to 66 hours a week. 11 hours a day, basically. Um, a Saturday on uh, on one week, and the other week I have the weekend to myself. So, uh, so yeah, I've got even less time to be playing games now, which is unfortunate. So, uh, so when I do get some free time, I like to... Uh, think carefully about what I do with my time. Um, so in regards to RuneScape, um, I just, you know, I'm bored of the game, not getting much enjoyment out of it. Um, and you know what? This goes for all games that I play, but what happens is, you know, you, you play a bad game, you just stop playing it. You play a good game, you continue to play it, but it gets boring at a certain point. And what often makes a game for me is the community. So if you find a couple of people you really enjoy playing with, that is going to keep you playing the game a lot longer. And that's what happened with RuneScape with me. I, uh, I joined a clan, I got to know some people really well. Um, got to know them even better than, than you know, you would usually expect to know someone. And, and for so long as well. Um, I mean, I've known some people for, for the entire duration I've been playing RuneScape. So 10 years, and that is an awful long time. Uh, they may as well actually be proper IRL friends by now. Um, but uh, but yeah, so um, so that's what's kept me playing RuneScape, and you know it was always going to happen at one point. But now it, just too many people that I used to know have stopped playing, and so I I lose interest as well because if if I can't be uh, around the same people, if I can't be doing things with the same people, then uh, then you know you kind of want to stop. Now those people haven't stopped playing games; they've just been playing other games, and uh, and yeah, so that's that's really why I've stopped playing RuneScape. Um, I mean, what's the point? What's the point of playing a game when you're not playing it with, with someone else that you actually enjoy playing the game with? So, uh, that's that's why I've I've stopped. Uh, also, just generally, I've just got bored of the content. They're just, you know, it's it's kind of strange. You know that there's tons of things to do on RuneScape, yet for some reason there's nothing to do on RuneScape for me. So, um, yeah, I'm just I'm just generally bored of the game. So that's. That's about it for RuneScape. What I have been doing though is uh, mining red sandstone every day, and also I've been um, what else have I been doing? I'm trying to remember. Uh, that's actually pretty much it. I haven't even been doing farming runs. Um, every now and again, I'll go to Kingdom of Miscellania to top up my funds, and also I do a little bit of merchanting. I mean, not like buying whips for so and so and then selling them for 10k more or anything like that, but like. Um, I bought a, I bought ten fish masks for two point seven, and then I bought a hundred and forty or one hundred and fifty more for four mil. I recently sold them for four point eight, so that's a nice bit of profit. I figure if I'm gonna come, um, if I'm gonna play RuneScape again in the future, you know, I, I rather do it with a bit of money bank. So, uh, so it's always a good idea to, you know, if you can spend five minutes a day on it and and make a a pretty decent amount of money, no reason not to. Um, I mean, I, I waste my time in in far more serious ways than, than having to spend five minutes on RuneScape. Um, so yeah, so so that's that's it for RuneScape. Um, now, I know you will know about me playing Terra. Um, I played that for a couple of months. It's the whole community thing again. Um, I enjoy playing the game. I absolutely adore the, uh, the battle system. Nobody can tell me that that isn't the best battle system of any MMORPG out there. And that has to be, that has to be the archetype of every single future MMORPG and unfortunately Guild Wars 2 has just come out at the wrong time because I'm, I'm sure if the creators you know knew about this this new kind of system they would have adopted it into theirs um, and it would th then Guild Wars 2 would just have been the most perfect game ever um, unfortunately that's not the case um, so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to to seeing uh, seeing more you know, serious MMORPG developers incorporate the terror system now. Might and um, glory. I say the terror system. I know it's not actually terror that were the first, uh, but uh, but there you go. They're, they've made it. You know, the most noticeable to me. 
Um, so yeah, I enjoyed playing that game for, for about two months, but yeah, like I said about the community, um, it, you know, it, you can enjoy a game and you can play it for a couple of months, but you're not going to play it long term unless you enjoy the community, and uh, fortunately I just I don't like the type of people that play that game. There's a race called Ellen Race, and it's like a perverted uh, Japanese kind of um, anime manga kind of thing going on there, and uh, I just don't understand it. Um, and yeah, lots of people seem to be like that, and it's just it's just very very weird. It's a very weird community. I don't really want to be a part of. So uh, so that's that's pretty much the end of that game for me, I guess. Um, you know, I I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to it in a year or so once they bring out even more content that'll keep me entertained. But uh, as for the community driving my my entertainment, it's just it's not happening there. Um, and that brings me on to Guild Wars 2. And actually, one of the main things that brings me to Guild Wars 2, um, the, the, like, absolute decider for me, was thinking that, yeah, this is, this is truly an MMO. Um, so many games call themselves MMORPGs, and what it really means is it's an RPG that is online. That is literally all it is. It's an ORPG. I think more games should call, it, so, call themselves ORPGs. Um, but yeah, this is a true, a true mul uh, mass multiplayer game for me. And by the way, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just walking around, letting you see the scenery. Uh, you guys know that I can't talk and, and play seriously at the same time. So this is literally all I can do. Let me try and work out a direction I want to go. Right, I want to go east. Right, so we're heading east. Um, in fact, it's only going to take a couple of seconds, and then I'll have to look at the map again. In fact, I'm not even going to bother to talk now. Let's just end up here. So yeah, there's there's lots of different things to do. I'll actually get to that in a second. But there we go. I've discovered a new area. Where should I go? I should go further north. That was the way that I was actually going. But uh, there's quite a bit to the east that I haven't looked at. I haven't actually organised the way that I'm travelling around this part of the map. So uh, so I guess I'm just going to go east. Keep going east, eh? Um, so yeah, what was I saying? Um... Yeah, so that was the decider that it was a true mass multiplayer game. There are there's a huge player base, and that's something that I've really needed for a long time. Um, a game like RuneScape, a game like World of Warcraft, though I, I never played it much at all. I played it for like a week, um, got to level 70, and just you know, this that was it. Um, but yeah, this is this is like oh my god, I've just leveled up by just you see. Uh, <laughs> Just walking, walking has leveled me up. Um, if only, if only that was the case in RuneScape, but then I'd be like, you know, 200 mil experience and everything. Um, yeah, I wanted to play a game with with a huge player base that wouldn't just die out after a month or two. So that's what really attracted me to the game. Also, um, I'm really, I'm really keen on the community for this game because what I figured is, if you play an MMORPG, if you like to play MMORPGs. There is absolutely no reason why you shouldn't own this game, why this game shouldn't be part of your collection. It is a one-time payment, £50 if you're English, and um, and then that's it. And um, no subscription, and the game still has ways of making money so that you can, you know, you can kind of like, it kind of guarantees that there will be future development. Because it's not just a one-time payment, but also you can buy in-game currency as well. Um, and, the, and the thing about the thing I love about the, the other currency, the other currency is diamonds, which seems to be like the default, you know, viable currency for all games now, since like Facebook games and iPhone games, etc. Um, but yeah, you can buy these diamonds for for real money, and then you can spend diamonds to get these kind of like cosmetic things. And um, and I don't like that. But what Guild Wars do does uh, does, and I don't know why I'm telling you this because. I'm sure you've watched enough Guild Wars 2 video explanation, you know, videos to know this already. But uh, but yeah, you can buy these diamonds as well for uh, for in-game cash. So uh, not yeah, in-game in-game currency for gold, silver, bronze, and you can you can buy diamonds with that currency. So there's two ways to to get those diamonds, and I like that. I like that you can either work towards getting these diamonds. Or you can buy them because then you know it's it's the best of both worlds. It, it means that I can still get what I want to, without having to fork out real cash. And it means that people that do want to get these items a little bit quicker, without having to spend in-game cash, can um 
can buy it and then it means that this game can continue being developed because it it continues to to earn something it continues to bring in some revenue so i like that um anyway so that's why i bought guild wars 2 um because it's a real mass multiplayer and I, i'm going to enjoy playing this game with with a lot more people um and then also so the other thing about it no well, which is pretty much what i was saying with the whole 50 pounds thing um, and that's, you know, the the players, the, the people that I've played with before, RuneScape or Terror or Rift or, or you know, the Seven Days of World of Warcraft, um, those those people, a large amount of those people are going to be playing this game as well because, you know, if you, if you love MMORPGs, there's just simply no reason not to buy it it's because, you know, there's no subscription. I think that's always the main thing to think about when you buy a game. Um, so, yeah, um... Uh, I think that's all I wanted to say, really. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to work out what server I'm on, and uh, and I'll post that for you if you want to join my server. Um, if you haven't bought the game, if you have bought the game, then uh, then I guess tough luck. Um, but yeah, I have started my own guild, though it's a it's a bit of a joke guild. Some of you will know Geo. I named it after him. Geo is a loser. Um, but yeah, feel free to join. Geo is a loser. Um, I guess um, I don't actually have much time so if you want an invite to the guild I, I don't even know what you can do in fact, what, what is my name? it's got this weird number system I don't know I don't know which name to give my my name on this game is Overlord Cthulhu because someone's taken Cthulhu I'm guessing they took it at Guild Wars and, uh, and so I can't claim it for Guild Wars 2 um, how the hell do I find out my name? is it H? No, that was H, wasn't it? I can't tell. I give up. I give up. Yep, never going to know my name. Oh, there we go. Cthulhu4856. So if you want an invite, send me a mail, um, and I'll invite you to the guild. I don't know, maybe I'll disband it and actually create a proper name. The only the only thing about it is, is that because I'm going to be playing so little, uh, it kind of it's kind of senseless to make a guild, but on the other hand, I want to be able to create that community that will make you know keep me playing this game, and uh, and rather than just joining a guild and hoping the community is good, I'd rather be in control of that aspect, uh, you know, have people in the guild that I like and and be able to get rid of people that I don't like. Sounds pretty harsh, but uh, you know you've got to take control of of some situations. Right, so I'm going to cut this tree, and then I'm going. And, uh, and yeah, let me know what you want me to do. Um, I'm not going to be making escape videos. If you want me to make Guild Wars 2 videos, I will do that. But I'll probably do it regardless, because I want to be making videos. I just don't want to have to be RuneScape orientated. And I don't know. Maybe I'll do a, a couple of other things as well. Maybe I'll do some Minecraft videos. Not not boring, you know, uh, adventure ones. But, uh, but as in, maybe if I get a couple of people online onto an online server, that would be pretty cool. Um, and also League of Legends. I keep saying I want to make a League of Legends video. I never do. Uh, recently I upgraded my RAM to 16 gigabytes, and only yesterday did I work out that uh, that actually it's probably been worse than just having 4 gigabytes because I forgot to um, increase the speed. Uh, the default speed was like 10 something. I don't know. Whatever the lowest is, just above 1,000, because I know it's it's like a certain amount. And uh, and yeah, so I, I increased it to 16. 1,666, so yeah, 1,666, so yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying making, what, why did I, why did I say that, I'm trying to remember why I said it, oh yeah, that's why, because I was experiencing um, graphics lag when, um, when I was trying to record League of Legends, and, uh, and now that's not an issue, in fact, I've got this on pretty high detail, and I'm not having an issue with using fraps, which is just amazing, I've always had a problem, but there you go. Those I think those are the, like the highest. What I did is I just pressed, I uh, just clicked best appearance. So I don't know if it's the maximum of everything. It looks like it. Maybe there's a few ultras. I hate that. Why? Why put high and ultra? If I see high, I'm going to assume it's you know the highest setting, because in most cases it is the highest setting. And then you've got the ultra setting. I I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they would just. Um, I wish high would always be the highest and low would always be the lowest and then they just you know create some 
new in-betweeners rather than creating an ultra which I just don't know if it exists or not. Either that or just say, you know, this is not the highest setting or something. I don't know, I don't know. But I hate having to go through all of these because you know that some where it says high, it's going to be the highest and some there's always that little bit extra that you just don't know about unless you have a look at every single one. I hate that. Okay, I'm done with this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you didn't get too bored. I will see you hopefully very soon in a new Guild Wars 2 video, which probably I won't be making until next weekend because oh, I have another six-day week. So see you until then.